the cup. We have seen how the alkyl halides are prepared from alcohols. Now let us see method of preparation of alkyl halides from alkane, alkene and alkyne. Okay. So from alkane, I am preparing alkyl halide. From alkene, I am preparing alkyl halide. And from, from alkynes, we can prepare alkyl halide. Okay. So what are the reagents? How the reagents are different? That I am telling you now. So if it is alkane, the X2 in presence of this is what? This is nothing but the sunlight. 25 degrees Celsius. So these are the arrow conditions to prepare alkyl halide from alkane. If it is alkene, if it is alkene, there are two ways by which I can prepare the alkyl halide. So if it is alkene, I can use HX also and I can use X2 also. Here it is X2. And if it is alkyne, again X2. Okay, so alkyne is nothing but triple bond, right? So, first this will give us the C double bond C that is di substituted alkene and again the use of halogen that is X2 will give the tetra substituted alkyl halide. Let us see details of these. So, halogenation of alkane, it is called as halogenation of alkane, that is alkane X2 H nu 25 degrees Celsius Rx and the byproduct is Hx. That is the direct method. Okay. Means what? This X2 I can write as Xx. So, this is my product and this is the byproduct, that is. Rx and Hx. And what is the mechanism of this particular reaction? If you remember the alkane, chapter alkane. So, in that chapter, we have studied this under the title of reactions of alkane. So, the mechanism involves three steps. First step is chain initiation which involves the halogen for example this is Cl2 so because of sunlight the bond is broken each bond is made up of two electrons so these two radicals are formed here second step is chain propagation. So, if I take example of some alkane like methane. So, how I can write this methane? I can... CH3 H. Each bond is made up of two electrons. Right. So, let us say this radical is reacting first with the H and it is making the byproduct HCl. Why? Because this H radical is less stable hmm, as compared to this CH3 radical. And then the CH3 radical can further form bond with the other Cl radical which is present in the vicinity that is methyl chloride can be formed. Now further the third step, so there are so many uh, radicals again in the environment where the reaction is happening. There could be so many methyl radicals again in the environment where the reaction is happening and they all can react, go on reacting with each other and so many other products are formed and these all are called as free radical substitution reactions.
so here rate of reaction of the halogen that is fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so f2 cl2 br2 and i2 so if you ask the rate of reaction of course the f2 is highly reactive it gives highly uh, exothermic reaction highly exothermic reaction and thus it is very uncontrolled reaction also with f2 that is fluorine and thus fluorination is not so common reaction okay fluorination is not common then what is remaining is this iodine which gives the slow and reversible reaction slow and reversible reaction okay and therefore as compared uh, to fluorine and iodine in halogenation the two compounds which are important are chlorine and bromine cl2 and br2 okay so from these methods first method that is from alkane we have completed alkane ke pehle humne kiya tha method of preparation of rx from alcohol alcohol we have done alkane we have done now alkene may say this method we are doing now okay addition of hx to alkene addition of hx that is hydrogen halide to alkene so what is alkene that is double bond this hx is nothing but delta positive region and delta negative region of halide right so this pi bond has pi electrons pi electrons can attack this and then again in this way because this h and x they get added here okay so here x minus is leaving then this one one carbon will become positive okay this will become positive and then this will come and attack here so this mechanism we are going to see now in the further slides so among this hx hcl and hbr are used because hx has to be dry and gaseous to react with these alkenes and among these the order of reactivity we already know that is hi is more reactive than hbr and hbr is more reactive than hcl let us learn this with one example of the alkene alkene means double bond so i know that there is pi bond also pi electrons are more reactive on this arrow i have my reactant as hydrogen bromide this bromine which is the halogen it has its lone pair of electrons around so this is my delta positive region this is my delta negative region these pi electrons are attacking on this h plus and this bond will break by giving these two electrons to the bromine so this bromine is leaving as a nucleophile okay so this is nothing but a nucleophile right now what will happen to this alkene there are two options h has two options it may go and attack or attach on this carbon or it may go and attach to this carbon see this is ch3 this is ch and this is ch2 right so it may happen that this is ch3 ch and h is coming here since this bond is gone this ch2 is positive or if this h is going on the other carbon then the second option is this is becoming ch3 and this positive charge is coming here there are two options 
and what do i see here i see formation of carbocation over here this is primary carbocation this is secondary carbocation we have just now seen the stability of carbocation tertiary is more stable than secondary and secondary is more stable than primary so of course this is not going to be stable as uh, these have very little support for the positive charge so this is not going to happen so the secondary carbocation which is formed okay this nucleophile will now attack on this positive region that is secondary carbocation and the product which is formed is ch ch3 ch3 br this is the product which is formed for this particular uh, reaction we can always remember the marconi kov rule okay this rule tells us about the attachment of this particular hydrogen whether it will attach here or here this was the very small structure so explaining uh, the attachment of hydrogen to which carbon that was easier okay but whenever we have the uh, big structure the complex structure so at that time this marconi kov rule we have to remember so this is the rule that is when hx is added to the asymmetric alkene asymmetric alkene at that time the hydrogen attaches itself to the carbon having greater number of hydrogen substituents when whereas the halide group attaches itself to the carbon which has greater number of alkyl substituents so in simple words you can say that rich gets richer that means what that means the carbon which has more number of hydrogen there this hydrogen will go and attach whereas the carbon which has more number of alkyl groups there the x will go and attach so rich gets richer is nothing but the marconi kov rule and based on this marconi kov rule the hydrogen halides are added to alkenes okay so so far we have seen preparation of alkyl halide from alcohols preparation of alkyl halide from alkanes from alkene this method is done that is addition of hydrogen halide and now the x2 halogenation of alkene and halogenation of alkyne okay addition of x2 to alkene and alkyne these two methods are remaining both the methods are very simple very direct and very much similar so i will be telling you both the methods together so according to this method the alkene gets converted to di substituted alkyl halide and similarly the alkyne gets converted to tetra substituted alkyl halides that is tetra halo alkene so the chemistry associated with carbon carbon triple bonds can be called as alkyne chemistry and alkyne undergo addition reactions due to presence of the loosely held pi electrons the last method for the preparation of alkyl halides halogen exchange that is 